What's going on everyone? It's Rich Nix! What is this? This is a professional news channel. Get out of the way. That's my new backdrop because y'all are so complaining about this one, girl. Okay, so we have a lot to talk about in this video. First of all, I want to say this video is sponsored house by AdamandEve.com. Thank you, AdamandEve.com, for sponsoring this video. You can use the code LUX for 50% off plus free shipping in the United States and Canada, and a portion of the proceeds goes to help fight and find cure for HIV and AIDS. So thank you, Adam and Eve, for sponsoring this video. It's not all about toys, too. They have lingerie and stuff like that. I like that. So that that's not what this video is about. No, 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 no. I I was I thought that I was gonna finally have a day off, girl. Because I can't get day off to save my life. I can't. So there I was, in the shade with the glass of lemonade. And I was like, Moses, hand me my water. That's tea, Moses. My water's right here. I don't want to reach too far. God forbid I... Thank you, Moses. I got to open it, Moses. Uh, I got to put it in my mouth too, Moses. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Moses. Okay, let's talk. So there I was, right? And I was thinking to myself, oh, finally get a day off, right? Well, Jacqueline Hill, or I like to say Jacqueline the Hill, decided to post on her Instagram story. She said, Q&A time, which honestly, I feel like when people do Q&As, it's because they want to like, they don't got nothing better to do, girl. They need some views. Got receipts coming in right now. Let me see. Did you see Jacqueline Hill? Mm-hmm. That's what we're talking about right now. So check this out. Uh, oh, don't forget. You already know. I already screenshot all that ass, girl. So basically, in a nutshell, for those of you who don't want to watch her three-hour Q&A, girl, I got it for you right here. Okay. So she basically is hyping up. You ready? Drum roll, please. Her wedding. Oh! Yes, she mentioned her wedding several times. Now, keep in mind, it's a Q&A, and I'm pretty sure she got hundreds, probably like five, questions. But she gets to pick and choose what questions she wants to answer. Let's not forget that. She's still in control, okay? One time I did a Q&A, and all I was talking about... Um, why your makeup busted the house? Why is your wonky busted the house? And I don't want to answer those questions, okay? I have been through a lot in my life. <laughs> All my life I had to fight. So anyways, I digress. So she, what I'm trying to say is she got to pick and choose the questions that she wanted to answer. So let, let's go through some of them because I found it very entertaining. Not to mention a lot of, a lot of people have said that Jaclyn Hill has fallen out of grace with a lot of her following. Um, she has, she basically has said some things recently that just kind of rubbed people the wrong way and that sense of like, just instead of embracing all the love and support that she gets, she chose to just focus on the negative and people are like, really? So the thing was, Jaclyn Hill, look, listen, the thing is, Jaclyn Hill honestly was just a beautiful girl, still is, who started making videos in her room with natural lighting and it was fun. And somewhere along the way, money and greed took over and it's, it's selling stuff on Amazon. Click the link down below and stuff like that and buy my merch, blah, 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 stuff like that. And it just, it came a lot of that, right? So, you know, when people talk about how the beauty community is this and that, you know, I like to think, oh, my ear, it just, does that mean, does that mean I'm going to get money or someone's talking about me? Ah! I'm hot. I'm hot. Leave a, leave, a, leave a comment down below, okay? Leave a comment down below of what you ate yesterday, okay? So if you made this far in video. So basically what I'm trying to say is that somewhere along the way, it just became all about money and stuff like that. And, you know, and I get it. You know, the beauty community was all about beauty and helping people out. And then it just, I mean, I feel like corporations and money and greed just got in the way. Okay, that's my opinion. So she released this this huge palette with Morphe. And if you guys have been following Jack and Hill, you already know. She talks about this here and it's, it's relevant to the story because it's very interesting what she said. So first of all, one of the questions that she chose right here is did you and Jordan ever experience major fights or questions if it would work out? And then she talks about yes, they definitely did. Then people are asked her, are you going to have bridesmaids? Again, she's talking about the wedding situation. She said yes. Do you plan on filming any of your wedding? Not saving you should have to, just love you guys. And she said, oh girl, the cameraman, videographer's already been filmed. So we are already expecting 
this huge Jaclyn Hill wedding is gonna pop off. Get ready, cause you're gonna see it on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Twitchy, whatever, and then you're, you're gonna you're gonna see so much stuff with this Jaclyn Hill wedding. My my fear is that she's gonna miss this as an opportunity. Okay, because if you're gonna have a wedding, Jaclyn Hill, have like a little wedding palette. Do I have one here? Do I have a wedding palette here somewhere. I, I bought that, that Jeffree Star one, and I swear to God, oh, here it is. Look, Jeffree Star didn't even get married, and he launched a wedding palette. So imagine that, girl, okay? Jacqueline Hill needs to come out with a Jacqueline Cosmetics wedding palette. Her stuff, Jacqueline Cosmetics, not Jacqueline Hill from Morphe, her stuff's already in the, in the Marshalls. I posted that on my shopping channel when I found it. I was shook. I wrote a little clip. <gasps> We found, we found it, Jacqueline for $7.99 at Marshalls. So we found it, girl. Here it is. Jacqueline Cosmetics, Jacqueline is shook at Marshalls for $7.99. And I, they were telling me that this was here, but I didn't believe them. I was thinking, no, not my store. My store's not gonna have that. And what do we know? They have it. Okay, so I was like, girl, her, her stuff is already in the Marshalls. Okay, whatever. We, get your coin, girl. I'm not mad at it. But anyways, if she's typing up this wedding on her Q&A, trust and believe, I feel it will be a missed opportunity if she doesn't come out with a wedding palette. I'll be upset if she doesn't. Because it makes people feel like they're part of her wedding if they do, right? Because God, God forbid she's not going to buy my fat ass the wedding, girl. She said, what changed your mind about having kids? This is very interesting because I never thought Jack and Hill would be interested in having kids. She said, that's a very loaded question that I could say a lot about. But I'll just say that falling in love with Jordan changed my life. So that's very interesting. I think she might have kids. She says, proudest professional accomplishment personally. Here it is. Huge. And y'all are going to say I'm making it up for views? I already know. But it's right here. She said it. She said, professionally, breaking every record with champagne pop and selling 220,000 Morphe makeup palettes in 40 minutes. Personally, retiring my mom when I was 26. So, let, let's, that, this is huge because Jaclyn Hill would have never disclosed this information. And if you juxtapose with what James Charles has been doing with James Charles is talking, talking openly about Morphe and his his makeup line, which he doesn't he says it's not going to be James Charles Cosmetics or Sister Cosmetics, whatever. It seems like Jaclyn Hill's Morphe contract is now over too. For her to disclose this type of information like that, she basically said two hundred twenty thousand. She showed her cards. If somebody wants to work with Jaclyn Hill, they know that at her peak she could sell two hundred twenty thousand units of a makeup palette at her peak okay so it must it must have been a really good check girl and then she said breaking every sephora record with champagne pop with champagne pop was this huge thing with another brand i don't think becca cosmetics it had this highlighter huge huge which i don't whatever happened to becca cosmetics they make so much money off jacqueline hill like whatever happened to that then she went on she goes on to say when is the next episode of jacqueline hill's journey so Jaclyn Hill's journey is, I'm gonna roll you a little clip here, we'll find Jaclyn Hill's journey. So it's just her documenting her life and her struggles. She was doing it consistently. It was like more vloggy, home content, and just like lifestyle. And now she kind of stopped that for a while, and then she says she's gonna bring it back. So I think that's like good, I love her lifestyle videos, and I think she should bring them back. Because the makeup videos, for whatever reason, people are just not interested in it. And she said next week, I'm going to see her here because you're going to say I'm making up for views. Next week with a thumbs up, she's bringing it. So I will be watching and I think she will be talking about the wedding. Okay, and then she went on here to start selling stuff on, you know, click the link down below if you like this shirt from Amazon. Stuff like that, whatever, who knows. But anyways, again, another question. Is your wedding going to be big or small? She said very small, very romantic. Let me tell you, I've been following Jack and Hill on YouTube for over eight years. She's not very small, very romantic person. She's big, over the top, drama. That right there, she broke the house. 
That's it. I'm just saying to her house. She give her sell a few Birkins because her have a small wedding and she broke the house. That's what I'm saying because she does everything big and you guys already know. If Jaclyn Hill struggling for money, is she going to use her wedding for clicks and views to sell makeup palette? I think she should. I think it will be smart. But anyways, it doesn't matter what I have to say, guys. Let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below. And thank you so much to AdamandEve.com for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.